we are able to open the vocal folds to abduct them, to spread them apart, and we're able to adduct them to push them together. Um, this is different than the rapid opening and closing that generates phonation. Let me give you an example. If I try to open and close my lips as fast as I can, consciously, I can go about that fast. Now I'm going to do it a different way. Ready? That was a lot faster. Um, I used air pressure. That's how we are able to generate the incredibly rapid opening and closing of the vocal folds during phonation. We blast them apart with air pressure and the negative air pressure that's generated as this goes through pulls them back together. So it's the changes in air pressure that allows them to open and close incredibly rapidly. So that is how we're able to generate hundreds of openings and closings in just a second. And so then our, our fundamental frequency is also um, affected by the thickness of our vocal folds, um, which can be, um, you know, the mass, just if you're a man or a woman or a child, will affect the mass. Um, and then also how much we stretch them. We can use cartilages, um, our arytenoids, to actually pull them really thin so that they can um, move even faster with those changes in air pressure. So it's really important that you understand that the Bernoulli effect is what allows us to open and close our vocal folds at that rate. Um, and it's not a conscious effort on our part to open and close them um, volitionally. I hope that helps.